What's going on campers? Camp Facer here. Welcome back to another Texas Chainsaw Master the Game video. Let's just say that pre-orders are here, crossplay is here, and different times of day and night on each map are officially announced today. You guys, this is amazing. Before we dive into this detail, all these details, let me just first start off by saying, most of you guys know I've been AFK for a little while. Uh, we've been living off the grid in the woods. We went out camping for a few weeks. Um, we're bouncing around from motel to motel because where I live in Rhode Island, uh, there's nothing available to rent. There's no homes. At this time of season, there's literally nowhere to rent. It's all booked. Uh, so we're looking for a house. It's not that I can't afford one. It's just there's nowhere to rent. So we're kind of living off the grid. And that's why this video is being recorded on my phone. So the audio, please excuse it. And it is what it is. Let's dive into the video before I fall too far behind on, on the news. I'm trying to keep you guys in my community up to date on the news. So I know I'm a little bit late. Bear with me. Maybe some of you people out there don't know this news. But here we go. I'm going to try my best to uh, deliver this guy. Uh, news to you guys so first pre-orders are officially launched right now on all platforms you can go to the PlayStation Store Xbox and so on PC uh, you can put your pre-order in for August 18th is the official release date pre-orders also include and if you order a physical copy of the game you get an exclusive poster along with that physical copy um, there's no special editions yet, but it is what it is. Um, if you get the digital, that obviously doesn't come with a poster, but if you get the physical copy, it comes with a poster. But be warned, they're going to fold that poster up inside the box so you can have crease marks in it. If you're a collector and you want that poster in mint condition, I highly recommend going on Gunn's website. Uh, I'll try to put that link in the description below to the store that you can order the poster on the store and it comes delivered with no crease marks. Now let's talk about crossplay here. I know it was already officially in the game. During the tech test, there was the option to turn it on and off, but today Gun officially announced full crossplay so that way we have PC players playing with console players and so on which is really exciting because we're going to have more players involved in the game more full lobbies it's going to be living on more and more with the crossplay it won't die out as quick as if it was just on one gen to the next gen so that is amazing there is one catch though you guys if you own a last gen like a PS4 or an Xbox One you will not be able to play with Xbox Series X players, or if you own a PS4, you will not be able to play with PS5 players. You will only be able to play with the gen that you're on. So that's a little bit of a bummer. I know some people are going to be upset about that. I don't know exactly why that is, uh, why you can't play with PS5 players if you own a PS4. But if you if you really want to, I highly recommend go out and try to invest in a next gen. It'll be worth it. I'm going to be on the PlayStation 5, so if you guys want to play with me, you're going to have to either get a PS5 or be on PC or whatever and do cross-play that way. Um, finally, the last piece of news here. I just got confirmed because there was a launch party in texas i was not able to attend I, I i probably could have attended it but with my circumstance living off the grid trying to find a home i couldn't see myself flying down to austin i already did that trip last year you guys know i made videos of uh, i went to the house i went to quick hill road and the gas station so i was like you know what I'll, i'm gonna skip out on this one even though when i saw some of the footage from the party i was a little bit jealous because i wanted to meet other content creators and meet gun gun and sumo and that would have been really special to me uh but anyways somebody that went to uh they they played the game there they got to see more of the game there's daytime and nighttime on each map except for the slaughterhouse the slaughterhouse is going to be sunset and sunrise but all the other one, all the other maps, the family house map and the gas station map, there's going to be a daytime and nighttime map. That is amazing because I, officially, Gunn said that there wasn't going to be. It was only going to be daytime on the family house map and nighttime at the gas station. Well, now it's confirmed. That is awesome because it kind of swaps up gameplay. 
and it gives you a whole different experience. I can, you know, because players are going to learn how to do certain things during the day, but at night it's going to be more stealthy. So you're going to have to swap up your gameplay. And that to me is just scary to know that you, you know, if you're running around in the dark, you never know if you're going to bump into a family member, if you can't see them good enough and vice versa. So that's going to be very interesting. And apparently, I was watching um, Slash and Cast video, and they were going deep with the meta. And the meta is above and beyond in this game, you guys. It's going to be very interesting, the builds. The, you're going to be able to work on a certain character and use that character per each map. So if you're playing uh, uh, like the Slaughterhouse map and you want to be very stealthy, you're going to have to build a character to use on that map. And then if you play like a, a tight map, like the family house map, you want to be quick. You might have to use a different character to, to win those matches. So it all depends on what character you're building, what time of day it is, or if it's night, what map you're playing. So the meta could be all over the place and make it so people can't uh, build a meta and use it on every map because every map's going to be different, you guys. So that's very interesting. So it kind of keeps the meta um, scrambled. So players that are hardcore tryhards can't just build one meta and, and use it on every single map because it's not going to play out like that. Each map's going to be different, so that meta of the build of the character that they're doing, it's just not going to work out right on a certain map, so they might have to swap up. And not only that, you're never going to be able to pick each character that you're building, So, because in, in the lobbies, if somebody chooses your character, you're going to have to you know, go to the next one available, so that meta you've been building on the one character that you wanted to use on that certain map, whether it's daytime, nighttime, or whatever map you're playing on, you might be screwed and you might have to jump into a different character. So, so this game is going to be like, you know, it could become unbalanced to, to a degree, but at the same time, it'll be fair where it's going to be a 50, 50. I have a feeling this game is going to be a 50, 50. Like you're, you're always going to have that chance, even up against the um, toughest players. You're always going to have that chance because of circumstances here. So that is great news. I, again, I apologize recording this on my phone. I'm trying my best here, you guys. Um, when I finally get a place, it's going to be all set back up in my office, and I'll bring you guys the news and keep, keep you guys up to date on the regular basis. But it is what it is. Again, we got the, the uh, pre-orders. We got daytime, nighttime maps, and we got officially cross-play this is amazing. This game so far, I cannot wait to play it on August 18th. It's so far away. We got a long ways to go, about two months. The technical test when I played it, it was freaking amazing. It was the, the best vibe I've ever played in a multiplayer game. Terrifying, the sounds, the effects, everything. Man, you guys are in for a treat that haven't played it hands-on. I mean, when you watch footage, it's one thing, but when you're playing it with the headphones on and you're in the moment, it's way different. Just be ready for it, you guys. Anyways, that being said, everyone, please be excellent to each other, and I'm going back to the woods so you could stay the hell out of the woods.